So start in a comfortable seated position. Too cost enough, that feels like a nice way to sit. Any seat that allows you to sit up nice and tall is just the way to go, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then once you find your way there, just take a second to settle in. If it feels good to do so, allow your eyes to close down for a moment. Maybe even think about a softer position in your seat. So maybe you sink just a little deeper into your sits bones, a light sense of softness in your belly and your side, a light sense of softness in your shoulders and your arms. Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw or a little tension between your eyebrows and see if you can soften those spaces. And then once you feel like you've got a good settled in seat, <clears throat> see if you can just tune in right away and notice the natural rhythm of your breath. So without trying to change or force your breath, just notice your inhalation, notice your exhalation. Are you breathing in through your nose or through your mouth? And there's no right or wrong right now. Just take a moment to notice. Staying with that breath awareness, just tune in and notice the space around your collarbones and then just see if you can notice and feel the breath in that space right there. Notice if your breath is long or short, no right or wrong, just notice. And as you start to tune in and you're just paying attention to the breath, you might've noticed that your breath maybe has a tendency to just naturally slow down to a nice slow rhythm allow it to do what it naturally does. But now can you lift up just a little bit energetically up through the crown of your head? So you're bringing a little bit of brightness to the back of the body, soften your shoulders down away from your ears, bring just a sense of brightness down into your fingers and notice your hands. Notice where your hands are connected if they're resting on your knees or your thighs or the floor or your feet, no right or wrong, but just notice. And then let your awareness travel up your arms, your shoulders, the collarbones, and then draw a line from the back, from the collarbones to the back of your body. So see if you can just trace a line straight back to the back of your body. Notice the backs of your shoulders. And then as you inhale here, just let your shoulders lift up to your ears. Exhale and soften your shoulders down. Inhale and let your shoulders lift. Exhale and soften your shoulders down. Inhale, let your shoulders lift. Exhale, so shoulders soften down and then bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the heart with that still nice uplifted spine. Pause here for a moment and set an intention to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice. Never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care and respect. With that intention set, the hand that's on the heart, keep that there. The other hand is gonna come up to meet that hand and we're gonna put just a gentle pressure on and start to turn your head side to side. Like you're looking over one shoulder and then looking over the other way. The next time you turn your head to the right, stay there and then think about adding just a little bit of effort. So we'll see if you can find a little action or muscle work in the side of your neck to turn and look over that shoulder. Take one more moment. 
And then when you're ready, release, turn your head, look over the other shoulder, but see if you can find a little action here. Like you're really trying hard to look over that shoulder. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release your head back to center. And then our hands are going to find that little hip crease. So see if you can find those little hip bones or just that hip crease area. And then we're going to see if we can find a little bit of a pelvic tilt. So it's going to be small and subtle. You, you might notice that your, your rib cage and your spine wants to move with you a little bit, especially in the seated position. So let your spine do whatever it needs to do, but see if you can just find focus down at the, the pelvis. So we want to just tilt a little bit and then rock back. And then if you've got that motion going on, maybe you close your eyes down for just a minute, rock back into your tailbone and then rock forward just a little bit. And then the next time you rock back, pause there, hold that position for a second. And then can you squeeze the muscles up from your pelvic floor? Just imagine that you're pulling those muscles upward hold it for a moment and then release and then tip forward. So we're gonna find that like you're tipping your tailbone back towards the back edge of your mat. Hold that position for a second. Can you pull up the muscles on the pelvic floor? Just a nice little pull up and squeeze and then release those muscles. And now we're gonna see if we can find that middle point. So not tilted too far back, not tilted too far forward. Find that middle place and then see if you can pull those muscles up from the pelvic floor, hold it for a moment and then release. Nice, and then we're gonna move our awareness into our belly button. So let your hands come maybe to your knees or wherever feels good. And then think about pulling the belly button gently towards the spine. So almost as if somebody's trying to come in for a little tickle, you wanna engage those muscles, pull them back towards the spine and then release. Pull the muscles towards the spine and release. And do that one more time. Pull your muscles towards your spine and release, nice. Now move right into your seated cat cow. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Take about three more cycles of breath here and just move with your breath's rhythm. Nice. And then once you've completed those cycles of breath, we're going to release our hands down alongside our hips. So we're going to push into our hands. So our hands are going to help us keep this upright position of the spine so that we can take. We're going to take 10 Kapalabhati breaths, but we're just going to do 10 individual breaths. And it's you. I want you to imagine that there's a little gnat that flew up your nose and you need to release that gnat from your, from your nostrils. So we're going to focus on the exhale. The inhale is passive, but it's going to be really nice and slow. So first start by finding that nice long spine, push into your hands just a little bit. You might even feel like your sits bones almost want to lift up off the ground. So keep that upright lifted spine, take an inhale. And as you exhale, just imagine that you're blowing a little gnat out of your nose and then take an inhale, just passive, nothing fancy. As you exhale, nice and sharp. And then do that inhale, exhale sharp. Inhale, exhale sharp. Inhale, exhale nice and sharp. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale sharp. Inhale, and exhale. Two more to go. Inhale, exhale sharp. Inhale, exhale sharp, and then release your hands, come to your knees, close your eyes down, take a moment to notice. If you feel a little bit of energized movement in your body, if not, no worries, just notice what's going on in your body, what's going on with your breath. Great, and then from here, we're gonna take our easy seat or we're gonna to start to circle the torso. So we're just gonna lead the chest around in circles. You can let your sits bones rock around just a little bit if that feels like a nice way to go. We wanna just invite some looseness into the low back, a little bit of looseness into that space where the side body meets the hips. Beautiful, one more time around in this direction and then take those circles and go the other way.
Beautiful. One more circle around and then come back to center. We're going to tuck the chin down to the chest and we're going to start to gently roll the head side to side. So think, start with like maybe a one inch bit of movement from side to side and then find that bigger pendulum as the neck starts to find a little bit of warmth. Notice if you're holding any tension in your jaw, see if you can let your jaw be soft. One more rock of the head side to side. And then as your chin returns to center, just lift your chin up to a neutral position. Left hand's gonna touch down to the ground, right hand's gonna reach up. Take a nice gentle side bend, just to the point where you feel a little opening in the side body. Pause there, take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Take that top hand, reach it forward at a 45 degree angle, like you're reaching for something across the room. Reach through your fingertips. So almost as if you're trying to pull energy from your sits bones out through the palm of your hand. Take one more moment and then draw that thumb back, find that side bend again. And then we're gonna lift up and take it over to the other side. So right hand's gonna touch down, left hand's gonna lift up, find that softer side bend. So just tune in, notice the breath in the side of your ribs. Awesome, now take that top hand round and reach forward and then find that really good reach. Like you're trying to pull the energy from your sits bones out through your palm. Beautiful, pull that thumb back. Find that side bend, look up to the sky, take one big breath and then release it up. And now we're gonna take our arms into a cactus or goalpost position. And then imagine that you're pulling the elbows back for that little squeeze in the shoulder blades and then bring it back to neutral. Pull the elbows back, get that little squeeze and release to neutral. Do that one more time, pull the elbows back and squeeze release to neutral and now we're going to go bigger with the movement so pull the elbows back and then bring the palms elbows and forearms together to meet open it up pull the elbows back at that little squeeze bring it back together palms elbows to touch beautiful pull the elbows back and get that little squeeze bring it together palms elbows to touch we're going to pull back get that little squeeze and then we're going to bring the palms elbows and forearms together stay in that together position inhale lift the fingertips slightly upward Exhale to pull the elbows slightly down, but the spine stays in a neutral position. Inhale, lift the fingertips up. Exhale to pull the elbows down. Beautiful, one more just like that. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to pull down, and then elbows are gonna come to that neutral position or in line with the shoulders. Interlace your fingers here. Keep the elbows and forearms together. We're gonna roll the wrists in circles, go in one direction. Roll the wrists in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, one more circle around and then release your hands behind you. Nice tall fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a nice big breath. Release that gentle back bend, lean back into your sits bones, switch the cross in your legs, take a second to get reset, check in your knees, check in your hips, wiggle into your sits bones. And then once you're there, both hands behind you, nice tall fingers, lift your chest, lift your chin, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, and then release that back bend and take it into an easy seated forward fold. We're gonna just swim the hands forward, go to a depth that feels good. But as you do this work here, pay attention. Notice how your knees feel, notice how your ankles feel, notice your hips and notice your low back. And if anything is feeling a little mischievous or a little cranky this morning, then you'll just make sure you honor those places throughout the rest of the practice. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, come up nice and slow, lean back into your sits bones, swing your legs out in front of you with a nice generous bend in the knees and just rock your knees a little side to side just to bring a little fluid movement back into your hips. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna spin it around into a tabletop. So come onto all fours in any way that works good for you. And if you like to cushion your knees, take a second to do that. <clears throat> Super, so now once you found your tabletop position, we're gonna bring our focus right away to our right hand. So we're gonna lift the right hand away from the floor. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Notice your left hand connected to the ground. Notice your knees. And now we're gonna take our hand into little piano fingers and we're gonna root into the fingertips and push the floor away. So that right shoulder is gonna draw up. And then imagine that you're pulling energy or imagine the center of your palm is a straw and you're drawing that energy up through the center of your palm, up through your shoulder. Take one good breath. Beautiful, release that hand down to the ground and we're gonna take it to the other side. So pick up your left hand, give your fingers a little wiggle. Notice your right hand connected to the ground. 
<clears throat> awesome. And then right left hand's going to find that piano finger tips of the finger onto the ground, push into the fingertips, draw the shoulder up and back, and then see if you can find that lifting up sensation. So imagine that your palm is a, is a straw, suck that energy up through the arm, up to the shoulder, take one good breath, and then release that hand down, pause for a moment and notice. And now we're going to do both hands. So right fingertips on the ground, left fingertips on the ground. So both hands in that tented position, draw that energy up through the palms, up through the shoulders, hands are nice and strong. Tune in here and notice, notice how your hands feel, notice how your wrists feel. This already might be enough strengthening work and you might choose to just stay here. But if you want that little tiny bit of challenge and you wanna see how strong your hands are, curl the toes under, pick your knees up away from the floor, hold it for just as long as you can. And then when you're ready, release your knees down with control, release your palms back down to the ground and then move your table in circles. Go in one direction. Beautiful, move your table in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then table comes to a neutral position. We're gonna slide the right leg back, toes curled under, take about three to five good rocks forward and back just to bring a little length into your back of your leg. Awesome. Now our shoulders are going to come in line with the wrist and we're going to leave that leg out nice and long. Left elbow and forearm are going to come down to the ground. So we're going to come into a little bit of a crooked table situation. We're going to start by picking the right leg up, find a little strength in your center, pull your abdominal muscles towards your spine, bend that knee, and then take that right knee, draw it in circles, go in one direction, nice big circles with the hip. Beautiful. Take that knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and now imagine that three-legged dog position where we bend the knee and let the hip roll open, lift that right leg up nice and high, let the foot fall behind you, get that little bit of stretch or opening through that front right pocket area, take a nice big breath in, slow breath out, and then with control, release that knee back down to the ground, step up onto that left hand. So we've come back to our tabletop position, slide the left leg back, toes curled under and rock yourself forward and back about three to five times, just whatever rhythm works good for you. Nice, and now the next time your shoulders come in line with your wrist, stay here, pick that left leg up. Can you take your right elbow and forearm down to the ground? So we come into that crooked table position Bend that left knee and then take that knee, draw it in circles, go in one direction. Take that knee, draw it in circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then if it feels good to do so, you're gonna lift that knee up nice and high, let the foot fall behind you. Nice, and then when you're ready, slow and controlled, release that knee down to the ground, come up to your tabletop position, move right into puppy pose. Keep your hips in line with the knees, walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat, let your chest and your forehead melt down, take three nice big breaths here. One more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly walk it in just a little bit. So we're gonna to come to Sphinx position. So we're gonna walk the elbows in. So both elbows and forearms down on the ground, fingers spread nice and wide. Now we're gonna walk our feet to the back edge of the mat, take it through a nice low plank. So walk your feet back. And then if your butt's way up in the air, think you, bring your butt down so that your spine is in a nice long line, gazing down at the floor, broaden your shoulders. See if you can find that sensation of the belly pulling up towards the spine. Take one more breath. Nice, and then slow and controlled. Release your knees down to the ground, release your toes. Hip points come down and then heart comes forward. We wanna squeeze between the shoulder blades, lift through the chest, reach up through the crown of your head. Even imagine that you're spreading your fingers slightly wider, press into the palms of your hands. Take one more breath. Nice, and then we're gonna find a little strength here. So in the Sphinx position, we wanna pull the abdominal muscles up and see if you can pull the hip points up away from the floor so we engage those abdominal muscles and then relax the hips down. Beautiful. Pull the abdominal muscles up, find that strength, lift the hip points away from the floor. Nice, release it back down. We're gonna do that one more time. Pull the belly up, hip points lift away from the floor, 
Lovely. Release your hips back down. We're going to move right into intense shoulder stretch. So walk your elbows wide, lower your chest, wiggle out your bum just a little bit. Right hand is going to reach out straight from the shoulder, palm facing down, roll over just slightly. So think about pushing into your left palm, the left shoulder lifts up. Maybe you turn your head to the left. This might be enough, but if it feels good and you want a little bit more, you're going to roll over onto your side. Left foot's going to step behind you. Let your head rest on the ground if that feels available. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. One more breath. When you're ready. If you're rolled onto your side, slowly and mindfully roll back onto center, slide the right hand in, and we're gonna switch right to the other side. So left hand is gonna extend out shoulder height, palm facing down, press into the right hand, right shoulder draws up and back. That might be enough. You might choose to stay there, but if it feels good and you want that little bit more, you're gonna roll over onto your left hip, step the right foot behind you, let your head rest on the floor if that's available. One more breath. When you're ready, with control, roll back onto your belly. Slide both hands in alongside the shoulders. Three low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale and lower down. On this next one, as you inhale and lift your heart up, think about drawing the shoulders down and back. A little squeeze between the shoulder blades. Beautiful. Exhale, soften down. One more just like that. Inhale, lift your heart, but draw the shoulders down and back. Lovely, exhale, lower down, push your way up to a tabletop all the way back to extended child's pose. So bring the big toes together, knees to the outer edges of your mat, pull your butt back to your heels. Take a second to kind of wiggle into your bum and then let your belly, your chest, your forehead soften down, but a light reach of energy through the fingertips. So a little energy down through the arms. Take one more breath. And then on your next inhale, lift your butt away from your heels. We're gonna keep the knees out in that wide position. Swing your toes out to meet, walk your hands out. We'll take it into a wide down dog. Curl the toes under, exhale, lift up into your downward facing dog. But then right away, we're gonna lower the knees down, release the toes, pull your butt back toward your heels and then bring it right back up. Lift into your table, curl your toes under, exhale and lift up, beautiful. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, release your toes, pull your butt back to your heels, lift up, curl the toes under, exhale up to down dog. Nice, one more just like that. Lower the heels, release your toes, pull your butt back to your heels, lift up, curl the toes under, exhale to downward facing dog. Take one breath here. Beautiful, and then pick up your heels, lower your knees. We're gonna walk the knees back in. So knees are gonna come back in line with the hips and then walk your hands in so they're back in line with the shoulders. <clears throat> awesome, and then we're gonna pick the right leg up but keep a bent knee position, flex your foot so the toes are slightly engaged. And now we're gonna take three pushes of the heel up towards the ceiling. So shoulders are gonna stay nice and broad, legs are gonna stay nice and stable. Push your heel up towards the ceiling, feel your glutes engage, and then soften knee comes back in line with the hip. Beautiful, push your heel up, Knee comes back in line with the hip. One more time, just like that. Push your heel up. Knee comes back in line with the hip. And now we're gonna push the heel up, lift the chest, lift your gaze so you feel the muscles through the whole back of your body get engaged. Hold it there for a moment. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release. Knee comes down to the ground, take it right to the other side. Left leg is gonna lift up. Knee in line with the hip, a little bit of action in that foot. Once you feel like you're there, push your heel up. Lower your knee back in line with the hip. Nice, push your heel up. Knee comes back in line with the hip. One more, just like that. Push the heel up. Knee comes back in line with the hip. And then we're going to push the heel up, but lift your chest and lift your gaze. Hold that strong position through the back of your body. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, release it down, move right into cat cow breath. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round your back. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round. One more time. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round, inhale to a neutral spine, curl your toes under, exhale up to downward facing dog, take a few pedals of the legs.
Wonderful, take one more pedal of each leg. And then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a moment here. So we wanna bring our hands just kind of up to our thighs so we can kind of push against the thighs a little bit and then see if you can feel around or get a sense of where that hip crease is. Push into your thighs and see if you can just pull the belly up and in, make a little space right at that hip crease area and then soften back over your thighs Float your hands down to the ground, relax the back of your head. Take one more breath here. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in strong from your navel center, nice and slow, come up to a standing position. And then as you come up to that standing position, take a second, get yourself all fixed up and then find your mountain is at the top of the mat. We're gonna come back to that sense of awareness down at our feet. So look down at your feet, lift your toes, spread your toes as wide as you can, keep those toes spread, and then just see if you can release those toes down to the ground in a nice wide configuration so they might look a little funny, right? And then look at the blade edges of your feet. If it feels good to do so, line the blade edges up with the, with the edges of your mat, and then think about hugging your heels in towards each other. So you wanna get a sense of the heels wrapping in, the back of the body wraps in nice and tight, lift energetically up through the front of the body. So we're not locking into the knees, but the thighs are lifting upward. Reach that energy up through the crown of your head. Pause here nice and strong and just notice. Notice your feet connected to the floor. Notice the freedom of breath in your body. So with this nice upright position, you should be able to take a nice deep inhalation. Slow exhalation. Take one more moment just to notice. Nice, and then when you're ready, inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, I'm gonna lift energetically from the soles of the feet as we reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. One more time like that. Inhale, lift from the soles of your feet, reach your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, interlace your fingers, flip the palms, press them forward, snuggle the shoulders down, pull your abdomen in just slightly, and then if it feels good to do so, arms raise up and overhead, take a little side bend one way, come back to center, can you feel your feet connected to the floor, a little side bend the other way, come back to center, can you feel your feet connected to the floor, unlace your hands, float your arms down, Roll the shoulders down and back. Nice, and now we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. So if you only had a half an hour in your day, I hope the rest of it's awesome. But if you're sticking around, we're gonna take it right into our flow. So inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, low lunge. Back knee comes down, toes tucked or released, just whatever feels more stable to you. Hand to that front knee, lift your chest. Pull the right hip crease back. Inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Exhale, float your hands down, frame the front foot to get into one half splits. Pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. Beautiful, plant your palms, step back to a plank. Right away, bring your knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug elbows to ribs as you lower with control. Inhale up to one low cobra. Exhale to lower down. Either push up to a tabletop or power up to a plank and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll up to standing, roll your shoulders down and back. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, that's your choice. Hand to that front knee, lift your chest. Pull the hip crease back, anchor into your legs. Reach your arms up, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, float your hands down, frame your front foot, take it into half splits. Pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Lovely, and then rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. Nice, plant the palms, step back to a plank, right away. Bring your knees down, rotate the eyes of your elbows, hug elbows into ribs, lower with control. One low cobra here, inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, lower down, either power up to a plank or take it through a table 
and then find your way up to down dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll on up to standing, roll your shoulders around, down and back. Find your mountain pose, shift your weight over to your left foot and we're just gonna pick the right foot up off the ground. So maybe think a centimeter, barely hovering off the ground. And then just notice that work that happens in your left leg as your right foot hovers. Set your right foot down onto the ground, transfer your weight onto your right foot, pick your left foot barely off the ground so it just hovers. Notice the work in your right leg. And then set that left foot down, look down at your feet, lift your toes, spread your toes, hug the heels in towards each other, wrap that energy up, lift it up through the front of your body and bring it down into your fingertips. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you, whatever feels good. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back, crescent lunge. So we're gonna keep the back heel lifted, knee is gonna stay lifted. Now you might choose to stay with this runner's lunge with the hands on the ground, but if it feels good and stable, your legs are feeling strong, lift your fingertips away. If it feels really great, reach your arms up and overhead, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, float those hands down, frame the front foot, one little straighten of that front leg. Does not need to be extreme, just feel a little stretch in the back of the leg. And then right away, bend and bring it back down, plant your palms, step back to plank, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug elbows into ribs, lower with control. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale, take it to a table to down dog or all the way up to down dog, whichever you like better. Right leg is gonna come up into three-legged dog. We're gonna keep the knee pointing down, the toes pointing down. See if you can keep your weight evenly distributed between your hands, your shoulders, and your hips are squared up. And now can you push into your left heel and your right heel at the same time? Like you're pushing your heels away from you. Take a nice big breath. Beautiful. And then release that right foot back down to the ground. Soften your knees, gaze forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come to forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, crescent lunge. Heel is lifted, knees lifted. You might choose to keep your hands on the ground in that runner's lunge or lift your fingertips away. If your legs feel strong and you've got the stability, Reach your arms up and overhead. Beautiful, and then right away, float those hands down. Frame the front foot, one little straighten of that front leg, just to the point where you feel a good gentle stretch. Bend that knee, plant your palms, step back to plank. Right away, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug elbows into ribs, lower with control. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Either exhale up to down dog or take it through your table to down dog. Left leg is gonna come up into three-legged dog. We're gonna keep the weight even in our hands, even in our shoulders. Does not matter how high that leg goes, we're looking for more control here. So toes and knees pointing down, and now push into your heels. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release that leg down with control, bend your knees, gaze forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. Keep your hands at heart center. Press your palms together. Shift your weight over to your left foot. Nice and easy. We're not going to stay too long, so you don't need to move off your mat. Just pick your right knee up as high as you can control. Set it down. Shift your weight over to your right foot. Pick your left knee up just as high as you can control. Set it down. Let your hands come down at your sides. Pause in your mountain pose. Close your eyes down, notice your breath. When you're ready, open your eyes, inhale, arms up, hands meet, chest lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right leg back, low lunge. We're gonna bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, totally up to you. Either hand to the knee or if it feels good, inhale, reach your arms up. 
Beautiful, when you're ready, float the hands down, frame the front foot, pull back to half split, pull the hips back, peel the front toes up. Beautiful, and then rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up so you find your runner's lunge. Start there, lift your fingertips away from the floor. If it feels stable, raise your arms up, come into that high crescent lunge. Lovely, float the hands down, frame your front foot, take one little straightening of that front leg, and then right away, bend that knee. Right hand's gonna stay on the ground. Left hand's gonna reach up for a little twist. Beautiful, bring that left hand down, plant both palms, step that front foot back to plank, pause in your plank just for a moment. Nice, and then bring your knees down, lower gently down onto your belly in any way that you like. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale up to table to down dog or just right up to your down dog, totally up to you. Now we're gonna take that right leg up into three-legged dog, but this time, if it feels good, bend the knee, let the hip roll open. One more breath. And then if it's available, we're gonna take that right foot, step it all the way through to the top of the mat or step it as far as it goes and then help it along the rest of the way. And then step that back foot up to meet, find your forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, hands meet, chest lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, low lunge. Bring the knee down, toes tucked or released, totally up to you. With an inhale, if it's available, reach your arms up. Awesome, float those hands down, frame the front foot. Pull back to half splits, rock the hips back, peel the front toes up. Nice, and then rock yourself forward, curl the back toes under, pick your back knee up. You might choose to stay with that runner's lunge, but if it feels good and stable, lift your hands up, raise your arms up. Beautiful, and then float those hands down, frame the front foot, one little straighten of that front leg. Beautiful, and then bend that knee back down, left hand's gonna stay on the ground, right hand's gonna reach for that twist. Awesome, right hand down, plant your palms, step back to plank. Bring your knees down, lower with control onto your belly. Inhale up to cobra just as high as you like. Exhale through table to down dog or right up to your down dog, totally up to you. Take your left leg up into three-legged dog, bend the knee, and if it feels good, let the hip roll open. Nice, and then when you're ready, step that left foot through to the top of your mat or just as far as it goes and then help with the rest of the way. Step your back foot up to meet, come to forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Come back to your mountain pose. Root into your feet, reach up through the crown of your head, energy down into your fingers. Close your eyes down for a moment here. Notice your breath. One more breath. And now we're gonna take it into a little balance. So if you do like a little assist or if you like to step off your mat so it's not so cushiony, take a second to find your way there. We're gonna take it into our half dancer pose. So we're gonna shift our weight over to the left foot, bend your right knee, start by just Hands free, hug your heel in towards your butt and then see if you can feel that little bit of firing up at the hamstring muscles, that little squeeze of those muscles there. If you've got that and that feels like the great place to be if you want that strengthening position, you might choose to stay here, maybe a hand on the hip and the left hand reaches up alongside your ear. But if you want that little stretch to the quad, now you're gonna see if you can swing the foot out, grab the blade edge of your foot, hug your heel in towards your butt, hug your knee in towards the other knee so their inner thighs are connected. Find the upright lifted position of the chest. Then if you've got your balance, left hand is gonna reach up to the sky. Take one more breath. If that left hand is up, go ahead and release it down with control. Release that right foot. Give your knees a nice soft little bounce. Make sure everything feels okay. And then we're gonna take that to the other side. So start by transferring your weight onto your right foot. 
pick your left heel up, hug it in towards your butt. Feel that nice little action at that hamstring muscle. So this might be the place for you, especially if you're working on strengthening the back of the leg. But if it feels nice and you want that little extra, you might reach around, grab the blade edge of the foot, hug your heel in towards your butt, hug the knee in towards the knee. So we squeeze in at the inner thighs, lift energy up through the chest. And then if all feels good, if that right hand is free, reach it up to the sky. If that right hand is up, release it down. With control, release that foot and then give everything a little bounce. Wiggle out your, wiggle out your ankles, wiggle out your toes and then shake off any of that stuff you may come across when we try to hold a little balance. Find your mountain pose again at the top of your mat, anchor into your feet. Inhale, arms up, hands meet, chest lifts as you look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to down dog. Pick up your heels, lower your knees, come through a tabletop. We're gonna move into gate pose. So we're gonna step the right leg out to the side, hands to the hips, come to your high kneel. Right hand onto the thigh, left hand's gonna reach up, take a nice little side bend, leaning over to the right. Beautiful, now we're gonna take it the other way. So we're gonna keep that right leg out. Left hand is gonna come over to the left side of the mat or off the left side of the mat. And now can you pick your right leg up? Think supported half moon. And I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see the leg is shooting straight out from the hip. There's energy out into the heel. Now take that top arm, reach it up to the sky. So imagine that you're rooting down into your left hand, your left knee, you're pushing out through the right heel and reaching energy up to the sky. So we're reaching in all different directions, even reach out through the crown of your head, take one good breath. Beautiful, now see if it feels good to bend the knee. Can you catch hold of your foot? If you catch hold of your foot, can you push your foot into your hand and open your chest just a little bit? Beautiful, with control, release it back through that supported half moon. And then float that foot down to the ground, knee down to the ground, walk your hands back in carefully to your tabletop position. Take a cat cow here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale, round your back. Inhale to a neutral spine. Left leg is going to step out. So we're going to take that gate pose to the other side. Step the foot out nice and wide. Find your high kneel position. Left hand on the thigh, right hand reaches up, lean over to the left. Beautiful, lift it up with control. Right hand's gonna touch down to the ground. Left leg is gonna lift. Find your stability there first and then left hand extends up to the sky, reaching out through the left hand, down through the right knee, out through the right hand, out through the crown of your head and the left heel. So see if you can find that shining, pushing outward energy. Take one more moment. And then if it feels good, you're gonna soften that knee, reach that left hand back and you catch hold of that foot. If you've caught hold that foot, maybe you push your foot into your hand, open up your chest just a little bit. Beautiful, with control, release your hold of the foot, float through that supported half moon, and then float that knee down to the ground, spin your hands around, come back to your tabletop position with control, take a cat cow here, inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail, exhale, round your back. Find a neutral spine, we're gonna curl both sets of toes under, Pull your butt back to your heels. Pause there, take that nice big stretch in the toes and that might be enough for you. But if it feels good and you want that extra sensation, you're gonna walk your hands up and in. So you sit up on the toes, pause here for a moment, close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Nice, slow breath out. One more moment, just notice your feet. Great, and then when you're ready, bring yourself forward, release your toes, maybe give your toes a little wiggle. And then we're gonna either swing the feet out to one side or crisscross your ankles, but we're gonna spin it around so that our legs are out in front of us nice and long. <clears throat> and then once you find your way there, we're gonna pick up the right leg. So grab the right foot, grab the right knee and just rock that leg a little bit side to side. Awesome. And then we're going to bring that leg across like a little bit of a figure four, but what we want is a little access to the foot. And then we're going to do our little dish towel ring. So we're going to ring a little twisting maneuver, ringing up towards the toes, 
and then down towards the ankle joint. One more little twist and turn up and down. And then we're gonna bring the hands to the tops of the toes and gently push the toes down. So we wanna find a little stretch through the top of the foot and the ankle, come just a little taller in your spine, maybe even close your eyes down, take a nice deep breath in. Beautiful, and then release the top of your foot and then we'll take it into a figure four stretch. So we're gonna slide that left leg in, maybe you lean back into your sits bones a little bit and then push into your palms, lift your chest up. If your knee feels any bad sensation here, you'll either soften it up, bring a flex into your foot or you'll release it into a figure four down on the ground. But if it feels okay to be here, take one more breath. Awesome. Soften your elbows, slide your leg nice and long. Now we're gonna keep that leg up. Or we're gonna pick that leg back up. And now can you get a single handhold? So either can you hook underneath the leg to just kind of hold it up to your chest? But what we want is the same leg that we're holding onto. We want that arm to be a little bit free so that we can roll over onto the side of the glutes and then roll around just a little bit. You might find some little zingy spots because the piriformis, the sciatic and all this other stuff that goes on down here gets kind of, gets a little sensational sometimes. So if you find anything that really zings you, stay off of it, move a little adjacent to it, roll around a little bit, and then see if you can come back to that space. Lovely, take one more little rock around. And then when you're ready, come back to center, gently release that leg nice and long, maybe give your toes a little wiggle, maybe give your butt a little wiggle, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. So we're gonna grab the knee, grab the heel, rock that leg a little side to side. Nice, and then bring it across in your figure four position, and then we're gonna wring out the foot. So just a little twist and turn up towards the toes. Beautiful, one more little ring up and down that foot and then to the tops of the toes, gently push down, find that little stretch through the top of the foot and the ankle and then see if you can find that nice upright spine. Take a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. Soften the stretch to the top of your foot. Rearrange your figure four if you need to. We're gonna bring the hands behind, lean back, slide that right leg in and then push into your palms, your chest comes up to meet the shin. Beautiful, soften your elbows, slide that right leg out. We're gonna catch hold of the foot, catch hold of the knee, lift it up and then see if you can get a single hand hold. So I like to tuck my opposite hand underneath that calf and then just kind of wrap it up towards my heart. Left hand is gonna to touch down to the ground and then we're gonna lean over and roll around. So find some good work here, something that's a nice sensation. It might, it might feel like a lot, but as long as it's not shooting pain, you're, you're in the right place. Beautiful, take one more little roll around on that side. And then when you're ready, come back up, release that leg nice and long, give everything a little bounce and a little wiggle. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your ankles, bounce out your knees. And then once you feel like you've got all that worked out, scoot your butt forward just a little bit, roll your way down to the ground, nice and slow, take your time. Nice, and then as you come down to the ground, walk your heels in a little bit closer. We're gonna take a bridge position. So heels close to the butt, feet about hip width distance apart. And we're just gonna start by just finding a little spread of the toes. So lift your toes, spread your toes as wide as you can, and then release your toes as wide as you can back down to the ground. Lift the soles of your feet. So think about pulling the big toe towards the heel so we get that pot of, <laughs> that, that, oh my gosh, my words just escaped me. <laughs> lift from the soles of your feet. So we find that nice lifting upward sensation. And then once you feel like you've got that lifting upward sensation in the soles of your feet, keep that upward lifting sensation, but push down into the balls of the feet and the heels. And then right away, you might feel the back of your legs fire up just a little bit. Bring your hands down alongside your hips, palms facing down, press into your feet, press into the backs of your arms, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up nice and high. Stay in that lifted position. 
Notice your knees and can you imagine you're reaching your knees towards your toes. See if you can still find that Pada Bandha, that lift from the soles of the feet. Toes are spread, big toe pulling towards the heel. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slow and controlled, roll down through your spine. So think upper back, middle back, low back, hips touch down. And then once you're all the way down, pull both knees up into your chest. Give yourself a light little squeeze. Maybe a gentle rock side to side. Wonderful. And then we're going to take it into a supine twist with a little add-on. So hold on to your right knee. Left, your left leg go nice and long. Pause here for a moment. And then when you feel ready, right knee is going to come across the body over to the left. So we're going to start by finding that supine twist. Maybe your right arm opens wide and maybe you turn your head to the right. That might be enough for you here. But if you want that little extra work in the quadricep muscles, you're going to bend that left knee, reach your right hand down. Can you catch hold of that left foot and then pull the heel a little closer towards your butt and then drop your right shoulder down towards the ground. Take one more breath. If you're holding onto the left foot, go ahead and let it go. Slide it nice and long. Pull the right knee into your chest. And then we're gonna get a little basket weave at the top of that knee. Push your knee into your hands. Hands are gonna resist. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, soften, gently draw the knee in towards your chest. Pull the left knee into me. Take a light little squeeze and then hold on to your left knee. Let your right leg go nice and long. Pause here for a moment. Take a nice big breath. Wonderful. And then if it feels good, you're going to take that left knee over and across the body. Start by finding your supine twist. Left arm extends out. This might be enough, but if you want that little work in the quadriceps, you're going to bend that right leg. Reach your left hand down, catch hold of your right foot, hug your heel in towards your butt just a little bit, and then see if you can drop your left shoulder down towards the ground. If you're holding onto that right leg, go ahead and release it nice and slow. And then when you're ready, pull the left knee into your chest, get a little bit of a basket weave hold of that knee, push your knee into your hands. Hands are gonna resist, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, soften, draw it into your chest and now bring the right knee into me. So both knees in, a light squeeze. And then with your hands on your knees, we're gonna find that resistance again. Push your knees into your hands, hands are gonna resist. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, soften, draw the knees into the chest. We're going to keep the left knee bent, but set that foot down to the ground. And now we're going to pull the right knee as tight to the chest as you can. And now see if you can slide your left hand underneath that thigh. Keep that thigh pulled in as tight as you can. And the right hand's going to reach back to me. Once you're here, we're going to point the toe. Reach your toe up and stretch to the back of the leg, just to the point where you feel sensation in the back of the thigh. Once you're there, stop, flex the foot, Pull the heel down towards your butt. Point the toe, reach up just as far as you can. Does not matter if your leg goes straight. Flex your foot, pull your heel back down. Point your toe, stretch it up just as far as you can. Flex your foot, bring it down, soften that leg, release it down to the ground and we're gonna take it to the other side. Pull the left knee into the chest, hug it in nice and tight. So we get that good squeeze towards the chest. Right hand's gonna slip underneath the thigh, hold that in place. Left hand's gonna come back to meet. So we get that nice tight squeeze. From here, point your toe, stretch your toe up just as far as it goes, right where you feel that little stretch in the back of the leg and then flex the foot, pull the heel down toward your butt. Nice, point your toe, stretch it up just as far as your body likes, flex your foot, pull the heel back down. One more, just like that. Point the toes, stretch it up just as far as it goes and then flex the foot. Beautiful, pull the heel down and then release, pull both knees back into your chest, a light squeeze, a gentle rock side to side. And then we're gonna take it like we're taking it into happy baby. So we're gonna float those heels up towards the sky with a little space between our knees. Hands are gonna come to the inside. So think elbows to the inner thighs. You're gonna push the elbows out as the knees push in. So get that pushing out and in sensation. Your legs might shake a little bit. 
We're just getting a little reset to those hip stabilizer muscles. So knees pushing in, elbows creating that effort. So the elbows push out, knees push in, hold it there for one more cycle of breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, soften, draw both knees back in with a soft hold, rock a little side to side. Maybe take those knees, draw them in a couple of circles, go in one direction. Maybe draw those circles the other way. And then start to ask your body, where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come to constructive rest? Let the knees drop in towards each other. Would it feel good to come to recline cobbler's pose, maybe with a little support underneath the thighs? Or would it feel good to take that more traditional shape or any other variety of the body that you like that lets you come into a little stillness? Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wake up the fingers and wake up the toes. Invite some movement into your wrists, your ankles, maybe even turn your head a little side to side. And then if your legs are in a bent knee position, maybe walk them down towards the end of your mat and take it into a big good morning stretch. Stretch your arms up and overhead. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes, create some space through the front of your body. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale nice and slow. And then in your own way, at your own pace, find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Come up in any way that works good for you. Awesome, and then as you come to that comfortable seated position, if you can, just a little access to the back of the neck and the hands, we're gonna fire up those hands, just get them nice and warm, create a little bit of friction between the palms. And then once the hands feel nice and good and warm, open them up like a book, reach them up and overhead, touch the space between your shoulders, gently glide your hands towards your heart, flick them out, and then bring them back together. Fire up those palms, get them nice and warm. Open up your hands like a book, reach them up and overhead, touch the space between your shoulders, glide your hands towards your heart, flick them out, and then bring them back together one last time. Fire up those palms, get them nice and warm. Open up your hands like a book, reach them up and overhead, touch the space between your shoulders, glide your hands towards your heart, flick them out, and then bring your prayer hands together at heart center and Anjali Mudra and bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. And breathe in a little extra love and gratitude that you can carry with you through the rest of your day and share with everyone you see. And when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Thursday. You guys are amazing. Ooh, that was some, that was some hard work today.